Well, cowboy, before you get too crazy, you might want to follow up on a lead I found for you. Called in some favors and found information on a property listed outside the city in Margaret Leonard's name. I thought we could go check it out. Maybe we'll get lucky. Well, in order for me to get lucky, nothing unlucky has to happen to you, so I'm going by myself. God, I love your tough guy shtick. You may just get lucky before, during, and after. <laughs> So who is Margaret Leonard, really? Is she a modern Dr. Mengele experimenting on damaged human beings for her own gratification? And why is she the critical key to my world over the last seven years? My head's still spinning when I spot the location 200 feet below me. What the hell was she doing all the way out here? Margaret may not be the good guy here. I'm starting to think the same thing. I've got a bad feeling about this. Of course, I've always got a bad feeling about this. Um, could you just go ahead and place me in a hard case? There is someone or something on the other side of this stream. I wonder if it's Mantis. I need to be careful. Well, this will come in handy. I'm not sure that man is friend or foe. Well, that might come in handy. Yeah, it's a plank. Nice. Someone's watching me and it's making now I could use that. Ah, why does this have to be so heavy? That man over there could be bucket of nails is always helpful when you want to fix something. You know, I've always thought that wood is a key ingredient to starting any fire. Well, yeah, that'll work. Hey! Now, I fixed it, and it appears to be some sort of ladder. This card could be used to get in the front door. Margaret Leonard sent me. Liar! Liar! Okay. Technically, she didn't send me. Oh! Friend! Slave! Killer! I'm sorry. Is there something I can do to help you? A glass of water? A donut? Get it! Out! Tell you what, I'm going to come back later with some hot cocoa and an elephant tranquilizer. Help me! Slay! Die! Die! 
Kids, they never shut the door when they go out to play. Uh, that must be Mantis, and my guess is Margaret Leonard left some medication to control his affliction somewhere in the Swamp House. Yep, garden shears are perfect for... I wonder if there's a way to get these valerian flowers to grow quickly. I never cared for pliers. Got lots of bad dental memories. It's an empty vial. Oh, I love sticky notes, and I just used my last one. Wait, something's written on this one. This key belongs to an Ultra Pro 900 grapple arm. I've always wanted one of these. They're good for reaching items just out of my grasp or in a dangerous situation. Well, I know tongs are great for pulling my chestnuts out of the fire. It's a pot for planting seeds. Something big just moved, and there's smoke coming out from behind the panel. It's a safe key. More to this world than meets the eye. Well, another matchbook to add to my collection. Very handy when you're venturing into public bathrooms. similar to the one downstairs, except the one downstairs had three numbers on it. Security card. First message. Margaret, we followed your instructions and combined the valerian flower petals with alcohol in a vial, placed it in the chemical mixer, then administered the serum to the subjects via...
Oh yeah, that. This? It is. It's actual m Well, yeah, that'll work. I know what you're thinking, and that's not a good idea. Oh, it's C4 chewing gum. This stuff packs quite a wallop, but oh, it is grape. I love grape flavor. On second thought, I better find another use for this. so I'll need to find another way to open it. Maybe that was a little overkill, but it was effective. I'm sure Thor's big hammer here could straighten a few things out. I guess luck counts for something. The cog's fixed and ready to be put back. was soundproof. Yeah. 
I've assembled the spirit radio. Tonight will be my first attempt to contact my husband. The radio is working. I hear voices that are incoherent, uh, eerie, and uh, tantalizing. There must be some way to amplify the power. <sighs> my last attempt was a near disaster, similar to what happened to Tesla back in 1899. The frequency caused a vibration that increased until I, oh, I thought the house would split in two. I had to smash the radio. Now I have to start all over. I don't want to get my hopes too high, but I believe I've made contact. I brought the radio into the lab, and I swear that being close to Charles's cryo chamber has intensified the signal. I'm sure it's his voice, but I can't understand what he's saying. I've recorded hours of the voice and had experts analyze the audio from every angle. We've deciphered three words, void, return, immortal. I've reached an impasse. I wonder if the Tesla egg could it amplify the radio's power? It's been weeks since I've heard Charles's voice on the spirit radio. I wonder if the Gideon parasites have moved ahead without me and brought him back to life. It's been years since I made an entry in this video journal. Charles is dead and lost to me forever. And uh, I will die soon. The translator lives... And one way or another, whoever sees this, Mantis, Mason, it's up to you to stop the translator. Stopping the translator isn't going to be easy, and the Tesla egg and spirit radio seem to be the keys. Somehow, the information Margaret Leonard took to the grave needs to be uncovered. Is that even possible? I have an eerie feeling it is. The glass is shattered. Is something trying to get in or out? Now, there's something you don't typically see in a residential home. That's the Interocitor IQ measurement system. I should try this baby out and see what a genius I am. Uh, don't text. You may not like what you find. Dr. Zaius was right. A man like you is inferior to the simian in every way! It's a chemical mixer for creating medicine. I'll need to place a vial filled with alcohol and valerian flowers in here to create medicine for Mantis. Well, hell, that ought to do it. This medicine should control Manus's pain. waited near the front door, ready for him to show up, but uh, not as ready as I should have been. Tesla egg will call it even. You're the one that prays, aren't you? Yes. I am Mantis. Praying Mantis. Like the bug. That was Margaret's call. So she did see me. Hmm. It just seems strange she took such a risk coming to see you. So she could give you the injection. How do you know about that? Because I was there. 
And she wanted you to forget everything you had done. <sighs> yeah, well, she pretty much accomplished that. Yeah. And here you are. She seems kind of strange. Strange? You know what I find strange? I saw a video of Margaret torturing you. She wasn't torturing me. She had been helping me for a very long time. But you're a Morlock. She made you this way. You can't blame her. I chose this path. I volunteered to take one of the greatest technological leaps of all time, crowd technology. I was one of the founding members of the Tesla Legacy Society. Along with others, I allowed myself to die and be brought back. We dreamed of waking to a world reborn. But we found ourselves worse off than before. And worst of all, we no longer were the people we had been. The cry sleep with unforeseen complications. Well, at least cryogenics is now partially covered under major medical. <laughs> Only a few of us escaped the physical deformities from the freeze. Worse is what it did to our minds. It drove us to madness. So how come the Tesla Society hasn't taken care of you guys? Certainly the burden shouldn't just fall on Margaret. The Tesla Lega Society and its creations are no more. So what happened? I mean, I know a little of your history since Charles Johansson joined you. Johansson. I believed in him once. He was our martyr. We carried his work to the foot of his holy cryo chamber. We knew that one day he would return to take us to this glorious future. And he did return. Yeah, he was now the translator. He was delusional only as the greatest zealots are. He believed he knew the will of Tesla. He was gonna create a gateway, a celestial conduit between heaven and earth. He called it the immortal coil. Gotcha. He was determined to build it at any cost. And in the end, we banished him from the society. But he didn't stay banished. Months later, he returned with a small group of men led by the one known as Slade. They attacked the facility, sparing no one. I saw Slade himself put a gun to my wife's head while she begged for her life. He pulled the trigger. When it was over, they removed every trace of the Tesla Legacy Society. Its files, its equipment. There was only one thing left behind. And that was? A key bit of information. The spirit radio frequencies. They were stored in the clouds that Charles never knew about. And these were important? It may be the only way to stop Charles from activating the immortal coil. And that would be... bad? It's very bad. As a split of the planet and too bad. I'll tell you where to find the egg. But I need you to find those frequencies first. Mantis hands me a photo with the coordinates of the Tesla facility and it's on an island off the Panamanian coast. As I turn to go, he gives me a veiled warning. When I step into Tesla, It'll be like entering the ninth level of hell. Tex Murphy. I'm a small-time private investigator in the big city of New San Francisco. But my office isn't in the glamour districts. It's in the run-down, mutant part of the city, close to Coit Tower. A place they've been refurbishing for years, but it never seems to improve. I've cracked some pretty big cases over the years. You may even have heard of me. But I don't do much investigating anymore. 
What year do you think it is? Are you serious? Whoever did this to you could have wiped your memory entirely, but they didn't. I'm a big fan of forgiving and forgetting. Mostly forgetting. Do you have disturbingly realistic, vivid dreams of another era? Whatever happened to that big, lovable moron? If I'd asked you that two days ago, you would have punched me in the face. Maybe I should punch you now. Might jog both our memories. <laughs> nice, classic Tex Murphy. I don't know what kind of bastard I turned into. It's one of the great mysteries. Tesla conducted an experiment and it nearly took out a whole chunk of New York City. Man has created hell on Earth. And the longer man exists, the further he descends from the wisdom and discernment needed to overcome the darkness. What's the big deal with the Tesla inventions? I mean, there must be some reason they were never made. Nikola Tesla was a genius. The FBI uh, just swooped in and confiscated all his papers and the Tesla cash just disappeared. This is what Tesla intended. I can't really remember why I became a PI. Maybe because I believed in its code of honor, but even a set of principles can slowly slip from your grasp. Temptations become obsessions. Each day, innocence fades, and your character weakens. Max! You gotta what? hold it together. I can't. You gotta tell me where the egg is. I'm trying! Everything has led to this.